Hello, Cool Brick here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and basic features of LEGO Digital Designer. So the first thing you want to do is have your internet browser open, which I have right here. Open a new tab, and you'll go to lego.com. Unfortunately, for some reason, it's a service unavailable. So what you can also do is search on Google, download Lego Digital Designer, and this is on the Lego website, as you can see, and you can just click on either this one if you have a Macintosh, or this one for Windows, and it's completely free, and you don't get any crazy viruses or anything, it's totally safe, especially since it's on a pretty legit website. So just go ahead and close this tab. Actually, save this and quit Lego Digital Designer. Okay, so this is what it looks like when you open it up. And depending on the processing power of your computer, this will be slower or faster. And so I will just go ahead and choose this option on the bottom right, which is just free build. So, stuff up here affects um, what you do to the pieces you have. This is the part selection, and it should have almost all the newest and latest parts, all the colors. And down here you can choose colors, or what you can do is hide colors like this. And you can load the pieces and then choose colors for individual pieces. So I'm going to show colors here and choose this color. So interestingly, these colors here are different from the standard names that LEGO uses and BrickLink and any other site where you can buy LEGO pieces. For example, the technical name for this color that says medium stone gray is actually light bluish gray, but they changed the names on LEGO Digital Designer because they're crazy and they decide to be inconsistent because they're stupid. So anyway, you have lots of different categories right here and generally it's pretty easy to find stuff. And so I'll just get a 16 by 16 plate, just place it right here. Uh, you just click on things to move them around and uh, depending on what kind of computer you have, you may be able to use the numpad to change the angle. I can change the angle. If you have a laptop, you can just right click and drag, and that changes the angle. You can also use these arrows on the different parts of the screen and to scroll in and out, or sorry, not to scroll, but to zoom in and out, you just scroll. And that affects your zoom. And so yeah, you can basically build a lot of different things with different pieces. So to change the angle of your piece, you use the arrow keys, the cursor keys, whatever you want to call them, and you can just use these to change the direction of your piece. And what I just did right now was I copied a piece and pasted it. You can use keyboard shortcuts if you know your computer's keyboard shortcuts. Another way you can do that is using this clone tool up here and the hotkey for that is C. Just C, click on this, make a clone of it, place it somewhere here, and V is the normal single selection tool, hotkey for the single selection tool. You also have a hinge tool up here, and I will show you how this works. Let's see here, just use this as an example. Get a door to put in here something. No doors. Let me change the color. Uh, you won't have, they won't give you any pieces that don't actually exist. So for example, the piece I'm looking for is not available in this color, so I'm going to change the color to black and see if I can find this piece. Okay, here we go. So I just stuck this door in here and I'm going to show you how to use this hinge tool. Hotkey is H. Just choose the piece you want to hinge, and you can just 
really easily. Use these green arrows here to do that. Or you can also use this, and it won't let you turn it farther than its range of motion. And then um, to delete things, you can just select this hotkey is D, or you, and you can just click on things you want to delete. And uh, if you delete something and you or if you do anything and you want to undo, you can either go into edit and undo, or you can use the hotkey, or not the hotkey, but the your keyboard shortcut. For me, it's command Z. And to redo, uh, for me, that's shift command Z. And you also have a redo option in here in edit. You can also select different things at once by holding down command key or choosing this multiple selection tool over here and you can select like as whichever things you want and if you just move one of them you can move all three of them like this and I can replace this back to its original position like that very easy to do uh, not totally sure what this is just I don't know I guess it's pretty self-explanatory I haven't had to use this tool it says hinge align tool this is flex tool uh, you can use that if you get, let's see, find one, just change the color here, let's see, where are my flexi, flexing things, I know they're around here somewhere. So this, uh, this program is really great great program for multiple reasons. One, you know, you have unlimited pieces basically. You can build whatever the heck you want. Um, you're only limited to your mind, pretty much. And let's see what else is good. Uh, still trying to find those flexing things. See, some of the categories, like I said, most of them you can generally find stuff. Sometimes, oh here it is, it's in here. Um, you can sometimes you have trouble finding things. So things that can be moved, like for example, this chain piece. You choose the flex tool. There's no uh, hotkey for this, so you just have to select it. Then you just click and drag with your mouse, and this is really cool, except for one little thing. Uh, it's sometimes a little bit difficult to get it to attach. Let's see, let's say I can get it to attach like this, but sometimes it's a little bit hard. To get it exactly how you want it and see how I'm having trouble here so uh, I generally try and avoid having to use this tool but it's there if you need it just get out of this tool delete this chain uh, paint tool which is B you can click B uh, hit B which is the hotkey and you can select something, and these are all the available colors for this piece. So I can make this grass or something. Just change the color of that. Um, so another great thing about this program is that you can go into this, which is building guide mode, and it will give you instructions on how to build your model which is really awesome. You can change the view of this stuff. Um, even crazier, if you look over here, where you have what parts you need for a certain step, you can actually change the view of individual parts. I'm not totally sure what it is. Um, this is great if you actually go and get the pieces for whatever you just made. There's also view mode over here. And you can also you know, look around here and you can change the background using this up here like this and there are also sound effects that go with these backgrounds and a cool thing is you can do this thing called explode the model up here and I'll zoom out here so you guys can see it explodes your model and then it proceeds to put it back together which is pretty cool especially when you have a huge model. So I will go back to build mode. Uh, I'm not going to save this. I'm going to show you a model that I already have. 
open, or not open, but done. Let me see here. Uh, for example, my police station, first floor. This model I'm going to be building in real life soon, hopefully. So this is the first floor of my police station. As you can see, this is a pretty large model. And you have lots of, you know, as you can see, I can use, I use base plates here. So basic humongous variety of pieces. And Lego used to have an option where you could order exactly the pieces that you needed um, through Lego Digital Designer, but they got rid of that option. I'm not aware why, but there is a really cool thing that you can do, which you can download. Um, let's see. Let's search okay, this program right here, which you can download, which is called Wanted Bricks. It's a free download. It only runs on Windows. And even though I'm using a Mac, I'm using the program called Wine, which allows me to run Windows programs on my Mac. Um, so you can use this program, and you can make uh, these things called XML files, which are lists of bricks, for example. Let me open one that I already have. For example, my grocery store. And just wait for this to load. Please load. Come on. Well, this isn't loading for some reason. Close. Oh, here we go. Here we go. It loaded. Okay. And this just makes a list for you. And the great thing about this is you can. If I turn. What is this? You can up here. This says export bricklink wanted file. And you can make an XML list like this. And you're probably wondering what the heck is all of this? Well, you can copy all this and move it into Bricklink. If you have a Bricklink, this is really, really, really useful. You can go to, let's see, wanted, wanted, how do I do this? How do I go into wanted list? Here we go. So you go to your wanted list, you can choose upload, and you can just put your XML format. So. Let me copy this, and boom. And you can click this, verify items. And sometimes there will be some problems. You can see there's some random problems. This item is already in my main wanted list, blah, 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 blah. Um, and it will just load exactly what you need onto your wanted list. And you can buy exactly what you need for a model, which is how I do a lot of my projects basically all of them actually um, anything large scale especially buildings and stuff it's a really really cool thing so as you can see Lego Digital Designer is a really really awesome tool to use and have it's free everything is free you know except for when you actually go and buy bricks if only that was free too so great great program I definitely recommend getting this anybody should get this it works on Almost all uh, com computer, I want to say processors, that's not the correct word. What's the correct terminology for it? Uh, uh, system, is that a system? Yeah, something like that. Software, software, different computer softwares. That's the word I was looking for. So anyways, this is a really great tool to have and use. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video.